The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good morning, folks, and welcome to the uh, February 27th edition of today's Trader's Z Show. I did say morning. I am recording this show today between 8 and 8.30. So if you're listening at the normal time at uh, 1 p.m., I'll try to make today's show in this half hour as pertinent as I possibly can. Of course, I'm happy to field your questions. If you are listening live, 877-927-6648. That's our number. You can always send me an email. Uh, again, if you're listening at 1 o'clock, don't send me an email. I won't, won't, won't be able to get it, won't be able to respond. But if you are listening in this morning, Steve at TFNN.com, and inside our Tiger's Den, any ping will do. So I'm gonna, we're going we're gonna to take a look at the uh, global markets. We're going to take a look at support and resistance and the patterns that are set up so that I can give you some values and things to be watching throughout the day out here. So as we uh, go ahead and kick off our session, uh, we can see that all of the equity futures are trading in the red, uh, down by about one and uh, four-tenths percent. You've got the Dow off 367 points. The uh, NASDAQ is off 138. The S&P is down 40. The E-mini um, Russell is uh, down 19 points out there. Spot volatility is up 10 percent, 9.72 percent, two dollars and 68 cents. Uh, over in Asia last night, we had the Hang Seng and the Shanghai both close higher. The Nikkei, not so much, down over 2 percent, 477 points. Uh, the S&P 200 in Australia down 50. That was about three quarters of a percent to the downside. The DAX is off 344 points. The FTSE down 170. Gold's up about 12 bucks. Silver, 18 cents. And late sweet crude getting smacked again down a buck 42 this morning. So let's begin by taking a look at the uh, international markets out here. Let's get a big picture because the, the markets tend to move in similar directions. More so than more so than not. So let's begin by taking a look at. Uh, uh, and my my feed is just slightly off. I think uh, maybe about five minutes or so, ten minutes, fifteen minutes in the FTSE. But let's begin by taking a look at the chart of the FTSE. Now, yesterday's action, pretty interesting. Um, let me just do this here. Here, here, I'll, you can see the picture which shows a butterfly buy pattern out here. So I'm going to get rid of that just simply to make that easier for you guys to see. And so, which includes a butterfly pattern includes an A to B equals C D, which it occurred out here. And yesterday was the confirmation of that pattern, and it formed a real nice hammer. Now, the real key today coming into the close is does the FTSE reject that hammer candle? Does price close above the bottom of that hammer? Now, to give you the exact number of that, um, I'm going to just switch over to my other charts here. It's just going to be a little bit easier for me to grab that data. Well, I think that it is. Uh, yes, yeah, it, it is. So the number to be watching coming into today's, well, that's the DAX. I wanted the FTSE. Give me a second here. The number I want you to watch at today's close in the FTSE is going to be 68.71.75. Right now we're at 68.68. So it's not unusual for price to test the bottom of a hammer, but a close below the bottom, bottom the, a close below the bottom of a hammer. The rhyme goes: If you're long, you're wrong out here. So you've got a inside the FTSE, you have a. Um, a confirmed buy pattern. But the key is, does it hold that bullish reversal candle? Now, inside the DAX, inside the DAX, we don't have any kind of bottoming signal whatsoever. Today is likely to be day six of a TD setup nine count pattern, but no A to B equals CD, no real pattern that I could draw here, no level of support uh, other than a down at 11.953. So the FTSE has a, a bottoming pattern. The uh, DAX uh, does not, has not taken out yesterday's lows. Don't know if that means anything or not. Let's take a look at the Nikkei. What did the Nikkei do? The Nikkei closed down relatively hard. But what you'll notice is yesterday was a hammer candle. So closing below that today, not so good. However, 
Today is bar 10, or the bar following nine of a TD setup nine count. So it does have a bottoming pattern that is in place out here. So you've got one in the footsie. You certainly have one inside of the uh, Nikkei. We don't have anything inside of the uh, DAX out here. Let's go take a look at Asia and uh, get a feel for what it's doing. We're already looking at the uh, Nikkei out there, so that's part of Asia. But let's go take a look at the uh, Hang Seng out here. What was the Hang Seng doing last night? So the Hang Seng formed a bottom uh, a couple of weeks ago with a TD setup nine count. Then maybe about seven, eight trading sessions ago, uh, went ahead and formed a TD nine count high. So it certainly was respecting the nines. Now, when you form these tops or bottoms, the responsibility of sellers is always to push price back to support. Well, inside the Hang Seng, that level of support is 26,641.92 to be exact. Today is going to be day number eight of a TD nine count pattern. That could identify a bottom. Today's day could have been the low. What we do know in the Hang Seng is support is held. So we have bottoming, um, uh, bottoming uh, patterns inside the Hang Seng, inside the FTSE, uh, inside, potentially inside the Nikkei as well. Now let's go take a look at the uh, Shanghai out here just simply to finish it off. So this way it gives us a feel for what's going on around the globe since this is all coronavirus uh, forming or oriented or what have you. And if we take a look at the uh, Shanghai, when this thing, remember the Shanghai was closed for a while, it opened back up, but when it bottomed out here, beautiful thing, it bottomed with that TD nine count. Now, what we can see is price was able to overcome Stevie's red slash green line. It's referred to as the, I refer to it that as, as that, but it's the oscillator on change line. Now, when that line turns colors out here, uh, what it tells us is it tells us that we're going to see that level, the oscillator and change line and price catch up to each other. And it's going to be that test that tells us whether its intent is bullish or bearish. Well, if we take a look at what's transpired over the last three days, it's been a test and rejection of that level, that level being Stevie's oscillator and change line 3123. What this is suggesting to you and I is what the Shanghai wants to do is move up to 3250 six out there. Um, so that's what's going on across the globe. So now let's go ahead and bring that back to the uh, U.S. out here. And, and really the charts that you're seeing this morning are charts that, and everything that I put together for subscribers this morning uh, in doing this show here. It's it, it just helpful to understand what's going on around the uh, world. So you're getting a feel for what's included inside the newsletter to begin your day uh, for those of you that have an interest in subscribing out here. Now let's come take a look at um, let's take a look at the U.S. markets. Let's begin by taking a look at the uh, Dow Weekly chart out here. So in the case of the Dow Weekly, so we've already identified that there are bottoming patterns in place inside of international markets. So where are we at inside the U.S.? Well, although it doesn't show, what well, does show here? We've got a rose momentum indicator top on a weekly basis for the Dow Equity Futures contract. And right now what it's testing is 26,588. That is its TD nine count breakout level. Now we're trading just slightly below that, but what you want to watch certainly today is going to be that 26,588. If there's a rejection of that level, well, then what the uh, sellers were supposed to do, they have done, which is push price down to support. On the other hand, if there's a close, really it's tomorrow's close because it's a weekly chart below 26,588, you're looking at an, a pullback to the 24,912 area. That's what we can see when we take a look at the Dow equity futures contract. Now, if we go take a look at the uh, NQ, and let's take a look at the NQ because we're about to go to a break, and we come back from the break, we're going to take a look at each of the time frames for the NQ. Now, in the case of the NQ, it may be targeting its most recent weekly breakout level. That is 8530. Stronger than the Dow clearly because it hasn't made its way back to that key level of support. So we come back from this break. Let's spend some time taking a look at multiple time frames for the NQ for the market so that I can provide you with levels that you should be watching during the day, even if it's 114 in the afternoon. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. 
Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Good morning, folks. Uh, 818 in the uh, morning, if you're listening at the normal time here. This is going to be the last segment, but uh, let's focus in on the uh, NQ. So here's the 30-minute time frame. We can see yesterday that it formed a nice road momentum indicator bottom. Did that at about 4 o'clock in the morning at a very nice counter trend uh, rally out there. And we can see that price now is pushed just slightly lower. Uh, that's below the uh, candle from back here at about midnight. And so there's a potential on a 30-minute time frame chart for another road momentum indicator bottom to form. How will you know? if it forms, well, you'll see some type of bullish reversal candle. It's also perhaps in the process of forming a TD9 count. You're in bar number seven out there. Nine count would form. It's now 819. So by I30, uh, it'd be bar seven. So by 930, by the uh, cash open between 930 and 10 out there. So that's what's going on on the 30 minute time frame. Let's keep stepping things up here with regard to the NQ. And the focus is going to be on the NQ. And the reason is because if the markets are going to find a bottom, and I'm not saying that they are. We're just taking a look at the charts and the chart patterns. We looked at the international market to get a flavor for what's going on around the globe out here. And so maybe the U.S. doesn't have as much heavy lifting to do as it uh, as one would think. Uh, if, in fact, the markets are going, we're going to see some type of counter trend rally. So here's the 60 minute time frame. You could see a couple of different roads momentum indicator signals. There's even another one right now that's in place out here. So you'll be watching for a bullish reversal candle. That's on the hourly time frame chart. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, two hour chart here. And the two hour chart, uh, what we're going to see is we're. Give me a second here. Sorry, we go. We're gonna we're gonna see road momentum indicator bottom signals out here. Those lows are being tested. Those bullish candles. But this is a two-hour time frame chart. 
out here. And so the candle session that's in process right now uh, may not look like that when the session ends. But you've got, again, the market being very stretched to the downside. And on each of these three time frames that we have taken a look at, we're going to step things up and go to the 240 minute time frame. So on the 240 minute time frame, we can see roads momentum indicator signals that have formed and that continue to try to form out here as price pushes lower. So we know that the stretch is on. Let's step this up to the five hour time frame chart. And this is really worth its weight in gold today to be able to assist you in understanding um, has the market uh, bottomed? Uh, is there going to be some type of counter trend rally or not out here? So as we take a look at the five hour time frame chart, you're going to see that it has both a wave number seven pattern. So it's in wave number seven. That is letter G on my screen. Prices will be lower doing less relative energy. We already got the uh, bottoming signal out here, this little piercing candle that took place. That was at four o'clock in the morning. This five hour chart candle uh, that we're currently in closes at 9 a.m. So if price closes above. The bottom of that uh, piercing candle out here, I'm going to give you the value. Then that bottom signal is still in play, uh, 89.67.25. But here is the real key. And the real key is, um, and price, so, so we've got, uh, what do we have? We have, we have really three topping, uh, bottoming pattern signals out here. TD9 count, wave number seven, and a road momentum indicator. So if there's going to be a bottom, we're going to see it here. And if these patterns don't work, well, then markets are going to continue to move lower. Now, if this does work, and you don't have to get in this early or what have you, the conf confirmation, as you can see on this chart, or should be able to see on this chart, would be a close above Stevie's red line. Now, that red line number is going to change as price is moving up or down. Right now, it's priced at 88.03. So I don't know what you use at 2 o'clock, uh, 1 o'clock, 1, 1, 122 in the afternoon. My guess, I don't know, use something like 88.10 something along those lines. But if we do see price closing above the oscillator and change line out here, Stevie's red line, that would be a signal that a counter trend rally has begun and that we should see the NQ move up to either 90.69 or 91.91 out there. And if these don't form bottoms out here, we sort of covered it. Well, let's go take a look at the daily time frame chart because we were looking at the weekly earlier. If we take a look at the daily time frame chart with regard to potential support levels, what we're going to see is that the NQ is trading right into one right now. And that's at 86.78. We're trading at 86.80. These red horizontal lines out here, these are breakout support levels. Um, and if one fails, then price will go down to the next one. So you've got all of these intraday signals. Uh, that we took a look at in the NQ. You've got the NQ pulling back to a key level of support, breakout support, 86.78. If that fails, the daily says 86.08.75 would be the next number. And earlier in that first segment, we gave you the uh, level to be watching on a weekly time frame. But if we were to sum this up at 8.23 in the morning, what the U.S. equity markets are trying to do, at least the NQ, even though it's down 163 points right now, it's attempting to, it's trying to, form a bottom. So we don't know if it's uh, just simply trying to flush out uh, flush out and get some more folks short out here or not, but that's what the uh, signals there are showing us. Let's take a look at a couple of other instruments out here. So in essence, we've covered for you, or I've tried to cover for you, the equity markets, what to really look for. Let's go take a look at some other markets. Let's go take a look at uh, Goldilocks and so I can uh, find my cursor out here. Come on, where are you? Uh, let me just try to do this. There we come on. Come on, coming, keep coming. Okay, here we okay. are. So now we'll pull over the uh, chart for gold. And in the case of gold, oh, Jay, I think you would ask me a question: Are there any new, um, are there any new profiles? And the answer is no. I don't have any new profiles uh, yet inside the equity futures contracts. Here inside of gold, here's what we have going on. We've got confirmed topping patterns, a TD setup nine count, as well as a road momentum indicator. All that. Uh, bears, sellers were able to do is really do what they're supposed to do, which is push price down to a key level of support. Well, the key level of support is Stevie's green line out here. So the level to be watching is 1639. Now that number is going to change up and down, you know, by pennies or what have you, or a dollar or something like that. But what we do have, similar to what we looked at, I believe was in the Shanghai out here, is we have price testing a key level of support. And if price is unable to close below that area, then price should try to bust it to the upper. Upside. Now, the busted to the upside, here's where there is a new profile, is 1679. So at this stage of the game, it will look like gold might want to target that 1679 area. 
If we take a look at Treasury bonds out here, Treasury bonds having another nice day, not up a full point just yet, but uh, just give it a little bit of time out here. But today is going to be bar number eight of a TD setup nine count pattern out here. That says if Treasury bonds are going to top from a pattern standpoint, it could be the high of today, it could be the high of tomorrow, it could be Monday. Remember, on a TD nine count, it's either bar eight, nine or the bar following nine where you would see that high so uh, at this stage here it looks like t-bonds want to continue moving higher what else can we take a look at has anything changed inside the spot volatility index you and i have been taking a look at this extreme backwardation that is uh, in place and it is still in place it's just simply even more exaggerated now the spot volatility index trading out at 3103 out here um, it is well above every single futures contract, as Peter wrote in earlier. Uh, when there is a bottom or a counter trend rally bottom, it should be one huge one, and it could be a bottom. We'll just simply have to continue to watch for that. But if you take a look at the bottom panel out here again, is just simply the ratio between the spot volatilities, in this case here, the three month counterpart. When they get above one, uh, what you're looking for is for that to get back below one to confirm for you that a bottom is in. So it's not to be used as a necessarily a timing tool from an intraday standpoint, but it is most certainly something to watch. And as you take a look at, uh, well, we're, we're just about to uh, head off the air. So folks, thanks so much for uh, being with me today. I'll be back to normal hours tomorrow. And uh, pay attention to those numbers.